guys, Kai here and welcome back. It is episode 41 of the FIFA 17 My Player Career. And we did finish the year uh, 2018 at the top of the table. So we are top of the Premiership. And we're hoping to get this new year on to a good start. We'll just have a quick look at the fixtures. No real big teams there. So we should have a decent start. An easy month. Five games. Not really anybody decent there to... Uh, Warriors really West Ham's probably the hardest game that we're gonna face but then in February uh, the harder games do come we've got Arsenal there in the Premiership and the Champions League is back as you can see there the first game the round of 16 is against PSG and then in March we've got quite a few hard games there actually PSG Tottenham and Chelsea maybe another cup game as well on top of those ones depending if we get through um, against was it Coventry I can't even remember we just had a look as well but never mind uh, but anyway let's get this game underway it is the Premiership's the first game of 2019 can Liverpool continue their great form Kai's in good scoring form as well he's in double figures so far in the Premiership so let's try and get him up to 20 goals I think 20 goals is a bit of a push but you never know he is in good form as I said uh, so let's see how far he can go before the end of the season the January transfer window is also open remember but we did only join in the summer so I don't expect any activity for Kai this window uh, but Liverpool though they may may make a signing or two you never know they might even sell somebody hopefully not uh, want to improve the squad for that push for the title uh, but half an hour gone here at Anfield it's still Liverpool nil QPR nil Liverpool are the ones in possession passing, passing patiently around the area uh, he's trying to find Kai there. Kai somehow got all the way through and he breaks the deadlock just over half an hour gone. It's Liverpool 1, QPR 0 and it is Kai with the first goal of the new year. Great start for him. And how did that get through to Kai? A little bit of luck there. Three defenders just ran into each other. Uh, the Liverpool striker pulling it away. There it is. It is his 11th goal of the Premier League season. And will there be any more before the half-time whistle blows? We've got uh, five minutes sorry, before the whistle blows. And so still plenty of time, but it's QPR right now looking to try and grab themselves an equaliser before that interval. And they're running all the way through here. Liverpool, where's the defending? He's got past another. Tease it up, the shot comes in, and they have equalised just before half time. I'm not entirely sure who it was who was running through all the Liverpool defenders. There just wasn't a challenge going in there at all. Um, poor defending there from the Reds, and a nice equaliser. Nice finish in the end. Boom. Goalkeeper not getting anywhere near that one. So it is Liverpool 1, QPR 1 uh, just before half time. So we've got some work to do. Fourth Premier League goal for Boris Yuk. Is that how you pronounce his name? I don't even know. I've never even heard of the guy to be honest. But it is Liverpool who are going to get, get this game back underway. Kai currently on a 7.8 rating. So not a bad first half for him. Well, it would have been better if we didn't concede that uh, late goal in this first half. Still do. Two minutes valid time to play. Liverpool in possession. Stewart finds Emre Chan. And Kai is through. A little bit of luck again. And he puts Liverpool back in front. 8.7 is his rating right now. And uh, there we go. Just before half time, we have managed to get ourselves back in front. A little bit of luck. Like the first goal for Kai. It re uh, bounced off the defender's leg straight into the path of Kai. And he scores his 12th Premier League goal of the season. Second of the game. And looking for a hat-trick. I don't think we've scored a hat-trick yet, have we? I don't even know. I think we've been close. Uh, but an hour played here at Anfield. Kai trying to win the ball there off the defence. He almost got there. And he's going for another challenge there. But it was cleared away. Upfield. Now QPR looking for a second equaliser. Are they going to get it? Well played Sacco. In fact, it looked a bit harsh. He's been taken down. It's going to be a free kick here for QPR. And a straight red. Out of nowhere, Mamadou Sacco has been sent off. Uh, did we get a replay of that? I'd be interested to see exactly if it was worthy of a red card. Let's have a look. Straight through the back. He won the ball, but I guess because it was through the back of him, that's what the game says. And he gets the red card. So, Liverpool down to 10 men. We still have the 2-1 lead. And QPR looking then to try and grab themselves an equaliser. Hopefully they don't do it. Kai, well played. Unable to win it. Um properly though but he's in possession now though kind of nice little through ball fine Sakan now Stuart well Stuart what are you doing lad back here went straight to QPR possession and the attack is on We've got 25 minutes remaining here at Anfield Liverpool looking for a third goal uh, Chan trying to play it in the middle but QPR are there 
defending well and they are going to get the ball clear so into the final 15 minutes and we're still leading two goals to one Nathaniel Klein with the cross straight into the hands of the goalkeeper should have done better really from there is Kai going to get to that? No, he's not. Good little play there from QPR. Now the chance for the attack from them. And nice interception. Emre Chan having a good game, actually. He's not really played too, too great for us when we've actually seen him in the side. And that's a beautiful three ball. Surely, no, it's off the crossbar. That should have been the third goal, and that should have wrapped up the game and the three points for Liverpool. But Kai could only hit the underside of the crossbar, and it bounced. Uh, not over the line, unfortunately, so it doesn't count. And he's been taken down there. It's going to be another free kick for Queen's Park Rangers, and it's Savage who gives that free kick away. He's actually picked up a yellow card himself, so he's got to be careful for these last 10 minutes of this match. Come on, boys, we just need to hold on. A minute or two to play. Ozzy Cup has also picked up a booking in this game. Quite a few bookings for... Liverpool today and that red card of course for Sacco. A chance here for Queen's Park Rangers. Great save there from Carius. He keeps it out. Palms it out for a corner. And that one keeps us in the winning position. Good save. Great chance there for Queen's Park Rangers. The goalkeeper coming up trumps yet again as he has done a few times this season. Kai currently on a 9.1 rating. Is that what he's going to finish this game up on? Come on, ref, blow that whistle. There we go. The final whistle blows. We do hold on for the three points. Down to ten men. We still won two goals to one. Kai with both goals. And Jurgen Klopp, he's going to be happy with those three points. Indeed, six, sorry, not six. 9.1 final match rating for Kai. Two goals, as you see. Three on top, three off target. Sorry, one was actually hitting the woodwork. So into the next game for Liverpool. And it is a home game. Another game at home then against Crystal Palace. So again, shouldn't really be too much of a difficult game. Liverpool are going to be the favourites going into this one, of course. The night is upon us. A little bit misty here at Anfield. But we're hoping to keep our good form going and see if we can try and grab Kai. Another goal. And hopefully we don't get anybody sent off either. Mamadou Saka won't be playing in this game, I don't think, due to the suspension. Uh, but hopefully we don't miss him. And we win possession straight away there. Well played. Now Alberto Moreno. Eight minutes in, still nil-nil. Who's going to be the first team to break the deadlocks? Crystal Palace right now in possession in midfield is Wilfred Zaha, former Manchester United player, of course. He'll be wanting to do one over on us, but there we've won possession in midfield. And now Kai to Henderson. Henderson sees Bakambo in, in space. And now Stewart. Kai's trying to push forward, but there is Mane. And Mane does score the first goal of the game. And what minute was that? Is that just over 10 minutes played? Yeah, 13 minutes played. Liverpool won. Crystal Palace nil. And the Anfield fans are celebrating a good early start for the Reds. He's got a little through ball as well. Was it Stewart who played that little through ball in? So he'll get the assist for that. Mane with the first goal of the game. And that gives us the advantage. And hopefully we can try and grab ourselves another goal or two. We want to get Kai on the score sheet, of course, if we can. We're into the second half. We still have that one goal lead after scoring that. Um, first goal. It's been a little bit quiet since, to be honest. And let's see if we can change that early in this second half. Here is Kai, plays it through for Mane, the goal scorer, of course. And now Jordan Henson looking to cross. Cross comes in, headed away. Try to get it back in, but we do have possession. Now Kai. Good little pass there. And again, shot comes in by Bakambu, but that wasn't even close at all. So still 1 0 to. For Liverpool, five minutes to play here at Anfield. And Wilfred Zaha with the cross, but that was nicely intercepted and into the hands of Mignolet. Min Mignolet getting the start today. It's a bit of a surprise. Karius has been playing really well for us recently. And there's Henson. Nice little ball. And Kai gets it, holds off his defender. And he just loses it there, unfortunately. And he's won a free kick. Can we take advantage? No, it doesn't matter because Kai's being substituted. So off he goes. Do we hold on? There's only a minute of to play do we hold on for the victory where are we there we go we do hold on for the 1-0 victory so our winning form continues and that will keep us top of the premier league table